everybody. Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with our update for Saturday, May 18th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment, and that'll be from Saturday Slate. Plus, we return to our NFL over-under win totals, our thumbnail sketches today, the Indianapolis Colts, and we'll get to that in just a bit. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below this video, get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. And again, that includes baseball, basketball. Uh, it also includes the Preakness, my matchups there. It includes uh, the UFC. I've got three fights there. Anyway, if you jumped on board yesterday with this free $60 account, you went 3-0, 5-0 the last two days. Last night, by the way, we cashed a big seven unit in the NBA. We had the over uh, between the Raptors and the Bucks. We also had a nice four unit play on the Houston Astros, 3-1 winner over Boston. And uh, we ended up cashing on the ice, six unit side with the St. Louis Blues. 5-0 the last two days overall. We'll look to continue to stay red hot and perfect on Saturday. And here's what we got going for Saturday. I've got another NBA play, a big baseball play. Uh, we won't be involved in the NHL until Sunday because they're off today. By the way, we're now on a 7-0 run in the NHL. Perfect. Last seven times, we'll look to make it 8-0 on Sunday. Baseball, 4-0 the last three days. We'll look to make it 5-0 on Saturday. NBA after last night's win, 40-20 and over the past couple of months. 67% winners, and we're up over $6,000 for $100 per unit player. So we're red hot. Don't miss out on Saturday's card. Also, the baseball, by the way, and the basketball available at its normal times on Saturday morning over at DocSports.com. But as far as the Preakness matchups, we have three of them and the UFC fight card for us. Those are available right now as you watch this video over at DocSports.com. We swept our Kentucky Derby matchups, a perfect 3-0 with matchups, and picked up over nine units of profit with those matchups. And then in the UFC, we're up $4,500 for $100 per unit betters. Since I've been at Docs, we've got three fights, included a five-unit play on Saturday. So don't miss out on any of that that I just talked about for Saturday's card. We're red hot and look to stay that way on Saturday. I'm going to get to my free pick in, on Saturday's card in just a moment. First, I wanted to get back to the thumbnail sketches for just a minute. Uh, we are in the AFC South. The other day, we had the Houston Texans. Today, we're talking about the Indianapolis Colts over under wins total nine and a half. They're kind of the opposite of the Houston Texans. We talked about Houston the other day, and I mentioned that they don't protect Deshaun Watson well, and I don't see a big difference this year. Uh, basically, he's always under pressure when he drops back to pass. This is just basically the antithesis of the Houston Texans when you talk about the Colts offense. Andrew Luck, he drops back to pass. He's never under pressure. At least he wasn't in 2018, I should say. Nobody allowed fewer sacks uh, per percentage of dropbacks last year than the Indianapolis Colts. That offense is going to be strong once again. And if, if he stays healthy, Andrew Luck, they're going to top that win total in all likelihood. And I'll get to more of that in just a bit. As far as the defense is concerned, they were good everywhere. They were really good everywhere, except for in getting to the opponent's quarterback. They've got to shore that up. They were right around 20th in the league last year at getting to opposing quarterbacks. I'd like to see them get closer to number 10 in the top 10, top 11, as far as the pressure on opposing quarterbacks is concerned for this team to make that next leap, to get to that next goal. And what they did in the draft, I thought was pretty shrewd, pretty sharp. I love the trade they made. They didn't pick till number 46 in the draft. Half, but they went out and got the kid Rocky Asin out of Temple. He's a corner. He's a good one. He's going to make noise right away, I think, for this defense. They went out and they got three or four outside linebackers. I think the pass rush is immediately going to see an influx of talent. It might not be overwhelming, but instead of being like 20th in the league, maybe they can get to like 12th, 11th, 10th in the league in getting pressure on opposing quarterbacks. That's what Indy has to do to take that next leap. Take a look at the schedule. First five games, they've got a couple of the road games out of the blocks at the Chargers, followed by at the Titans. They've got a couple of winnable home games after that against the Falcons and the Raiders, then back out on the road against the KC Chiefs before their bye week. And here's the thing, even if they go two and three, and by the way, I think they're going three and two, but even if they go two and three, if you look at the rest of the schedule, I have them winning 
eight more games. I have them going 10 and six, even if they start two and three. I think they're gonna start three and two. I think the Colts have an 11 and five season in them in 2019. So for those reasons, I do believe we have a play on the Colts over nine and a half wins. Again, I think they'll get at least 10 wins and more likely 11 wins as long as Andrew Luck stays healthy. And lay, man, look at him. When he stays healthy for this team, when he's on the field, they win 10 games a year. They've done it for the five seasons where he's been at health. So I think you're going to see that again coming up in 2019. Indianapolis over nine and a half wins. And I uh, wanted to mention our next team that we'll look at in the AFC South will be the Jacksonville Jaguars on our next video. All right, again, a real quick recap of Saturday's card before I jump into our free pick for Saturday. We've got the NBA play, the Western Conference Finals on Saturday. We've got a big play in baseball on Saturday. We're looking to go to 5-0 the last four days in baseball. We're looking to go to 41-20 and in the NBA with the last 61. And then right now, we've got UFC posted at DocSports.com. Three fights up $4,500 for $100 per unit players. One of those fights happens to be a big five-unit play. Go grab that and grab my Preakness matchups. If you like to bet the ponies, we've got three matchups. No exotics. I'm not going to jump in on who's going to win or exactas or things of that nature. We Our strength is, is matchups, and that's where we're going to stay. And we've got three more for the Preakness, all available right now, DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free pick for Saturday. I'm going to play a first five innings uh, play here. I'm going to play the under between the Cubs and the Nationals in the first five innings. It's around four and a half or so. It'll be Lester against Strasburg. I got no problem with either one of these starters. Strasburg good at home. Lester's been unbelievable. His last three starts, he hasn't even given up an earned run. And I think you're going to see him pitch well again in this particular game. He's been on fire this entire season, whether it be on the road, at home, it hasn't mattered. Strasburg will likely pitch well at home. But who wants to mess with that Washington Nationals bullpen? 20 runs put on the board yesterday. But guess what? After, what was it, six innings, I think the score was 3-2. to two, And then that bullpen comes in and gets rocked all over the place for the Nats. It's the dead last bullpen when it comes to ERA from a relief staff. We don't want to mess with that. We think we got a nice starting pitching matchup and we'll play under first five innings between the Cubs and the Nats with the pitching matchup of uh, John Lester and Strasburg. That's our free pick for Saturday. All right, listen, uh, we appreciate you guys watching these videos. If you like what you see, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And listen, I'll be right back here Sunday morning, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our next report. Let's put Saturday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.